I think today is a day about choices. It's easy to make the choice to desensitize ourselves to the tragedy of the Holocaust and to its lessons. It's easy, it seems remote in time, it's easy not to relate. That one makes a choice whether to allow this day to just be another exercise or a day when we, on a profound level, decide to let this moment wash over us and envelop us. Picture what it must have felt like to be a young girl at home with your mother and to have Nazis come to the door. Your mother says, hide in the closet. I will see you again. You hide in the closet. The Nazis take your mother away and you never see her again and you are left in the middle of war to fend for yourself. A real story. Imagine what it felt like to, on a cold day, be asked to assemble on some ground someplace and have someone with a swastika on their arm say, you will live, you will die, and to say goodbye to your parents forever. Imagine what it must have felt like to be in a boxcar that is sealed shut to seal in the stench and the fear as you know you are on your way to your death. We make a choice to think of today and put ourselves in that moment or a choice to view it as too remote. There are students here. Where are the students here who help memorialize these stories? Could you stand up if you're a student who's here? Let me say something to the students about choices for a moment. Feel free to sit down. I just wanted to have people acknowledge that you're here. Because you have choices before you as well that relate quite deeply to what happened in the Holocaust when because someone was Jewish or gay or a gypsy, that they were singled out only because of who they were, not what they were about or what they did, but who they were and told they must die and put yourself in today's world. Think of what it might be like in one of your communities when one group decides to build a house of worship for their religion next to another of a different religion and the latter resist and say, not next to us. Will you stand up or will you stand by? Recently, there was a young transgender girl in a McDonald's who was viciously tormented in front of a number of peers and they stood by. They did not stand up. What choice would you make in that situation? Ask yourself, many of you aspire to do what we do. Ask yourselves, what kind of politics will you practice? Will you choose to say that is the other and let us divide ourselves from him or her? Or will you choose to look to the common humanity that all of us possess and look to the best of who we are? These are choices. And one last choice. As the students, as you look at the survivors who are here today, if you look at them merely in sadness, in sorrow for what they endured, then that is not enough on my view. That is a bad choice. Look at the survivors who are here and think of toughness and resilience and courage and strength as well as the sweetness that you see because it was those attributes that allowed them to survive. They looked at the most evil moment in history and they said to their tormentors, we will survive. And their tormentors are in the ash bin of history and here there are grandparents who know about children and grandchildren and perhaps great grandchildren who are doctors and lawyers and public servants and teachers. And this is a triumph when you look at the survivors who are here because they won. Whether one says Hatikva or Esperanza or hope, those words all mean the same thing. Students, those words mean you. 
make choices that will make all of us proud as you reflect on what you were doing here today.